because you don't know what you have until you lose it all. And you have nowhere to go. You have six kids in a car with you. You have no direction. And you lose everything. That mother from Rockport escaped Hurricane Harvey and is now calling Amarillo home. News Channel 10's Marcy Marba joins us now live in the studio with more. The Andersons and their six kids now have a place to call home. They arrived in Amarillo around 2 this morning after losing their home and restaurant to Hurricane Harvey. Their cousin lives here in Amarillo and posted on a local Facebook group asking the community to help the Andersons find a home. A real estate agent reached out after seeing it and found them a house big enough to fit their large family. And a local church bought them clothes. I, I love people and to feel the love back and they don't know me is incredible. God asked for us to go somewhere else if that's what he wants us to do, you know, but I think this is where we're supposed to be. I would never want to leave somewhere that has so much love in their community. Thank you, Amarillo, for helping my family and for getting us a home and for giving us stuff. We wouldn't have made it without you. The Andersons say they spent days in shelter before arriving here. On the way, their car broke down because of the water damage. They say to, they hope to find another restaurant to, to create here and are in the process of enrolling their kids for school. Reporting live in the studio, Marcy Marbet, News Channel. Walk with us! Walk with us! It's the day after the election and UT students are taking to the streets of downtown Austin to protest President-elect Donald Trump. Not my president! Not my president! People have come, it was impromptu, and there's about 500 people out in the streets right now. I kind of see the outrage of people for an election like this. I mean, you can kind of tell the impact it's made on a lot of people. The results of the election impacted so many, the police provided an escort to protect the protesters' right to free speech. I know that some people get angry. Why are we letting them march? Because you know what? It's important to have these folks to have a, a platform. And when some Trump supporters found themselves in the middle of the chaos, even they could empathize with the protesters' frustration. I support everyone's right to come out and be heard. And uh, you know what? If Hillary would have won, I'd probably be out here too angry as well. Angry, but determined to make sure their voices don't get lost in the crowd. In Austin, Marcy Marbet, Spectrum News.